but to visualize. And just to use as an example, if you don't have a vision of where you're going, you're probably going to end up someplace else. And if you don't know where you're going, you don't need help because if they can't tell you where you're going, if you don't know. So find a, a creative idea or person or mentor that you can use as a guide to get you to your next level or where you want to go. As you know, uh, my favorite book is the Bible and uh, having principles through that, I started writing and I would quote certain scriptures. But there's one thing I always want to share. Uh, there's two principles I learned from my favorite book. Number one, fear not. And number two, you got to believe. You got to believe and fear not. So believing yourself in the future is key. You have to think in terms of who you are. I, Robert Lynn, was born poor on uh, South Carolina, place where my grandparents were sharecroppers and my parents uh, went on to school earned a high school diploma, and at 15 years old, I was given that baton. I was a senior in high school, 16 in college, so having that opportunity, one year later, I joined the military. Even after joining the military, I wanted to be a lifelong learner. As you know, a lot of times when we think in terms of learning, in a world of change, uh, the quote by Eric Hoffer says that the learner shall inherit the earth. They shall find themselves perfectly suited for a world that no longer exists. Those who have learned will find themselves perfectly suited for a world that no longer exists. Meaning that I wanted to get around people who are learning. So being a part of Brilliant University, being a part of your Shift Your Brilliance program has given me opportunities to learn. And as you know, life is a university on my CDs, reading books, uh, having the opportunity to attend other seminars and uh, attend meetings of yourself and Les Brown, Willie Jolly. I learned a lot, but continue learning was the key. 